Hey guys, and welcome to another Saturday Mega Wellness. I am Dell with Omega Sports. I want to thank you for joining us live here on Facebook. We've got a packed show today. I want to introduce my fantastic live guest today. We've got Marilyn Reminopoulos from Core Life Eatery. Let's see if I can do this. There you go. I got it. Say hello. <laughs> hey guys. Thanks so much, Dell, for having me. Absolutely. Now I know you're in, you're in the Greensboro location, which of course we got a chance to eat at um, earlier this week, which we'll we'll tease out a little later. But mm -hmm. um, I want to thank you for joining the show today. It's a new partnership we're working with you guys on. Yeah, it's awesome. So happy to be working with you guys. Yeah, and then of course way over there, I can't go across <laughs> Maryland here. Um, oh, there we, we go. Our, there you go. We got our great friend John Greer from New Balance. Guys, you've seen me wear New Balance. You've heard you've heard us talk about how our active play experts love New Balance's shoes that have been coming out. We've been delighting our customers as people have been moving more and running more. New Balance has been the go-to for us in our stores. So, John, we're super happy to have you on the show today. Man, thanks for having us to, uh, to on, on the show today, Dell. Very excited to be here today. Yeah. Now, John, even though you're it's your first time with New Balance uh, being on our Mega Wellness show, it's yep. certainly a long, you know, history with New Balance, you and Omega Sports. Yes, yeah, so we've actually uh, been involved, actually working together personally, actually for more than eight years now, actually. Um, mm. So it's been exciting to watch actually our relationship grow and just kind of see what you guys are doing to continue to connect to the community. It's been fantastic. Yeah, and just for our folks watching at home, I just want to give you a heads up. And Marilyn, just so you know, Johnny G is a <laughs> huge favorite. Uh, with our active play experts, with our our company and all of our customers, and he actually, I believe, his podcast that we did uh, last year with our shoe buyer was one of our most popular podcasts. Uh, so we're in store. I, you know, I'm not trying to make you make you stress out, John, but you did a great job with the podcast. Uh, I'm expecting to bring it onto the show today. All right, we got to elevate the game today. Yeah, there you go. Well, Marilyn, obviously when we invited you guys to be a part of Mega Wellness, part of our goal at Omega Sports is, you know, we have a history. We're celebrating our 43rd anniversary this month. Um, and there'll be some news coming out pretty soon about what we have planned for what we call our Megaversary, uh, which is coming mm -hmm. up in a um, But the reason that I wanted to have you guys on here and the reason that we have our wellness partners in our community is because our goal is to to grow a greater neighborship with all of our great partners uh, that are out there. And of course, with our communities themselves. And even though we've been in business now 43 years as a sporting goods company, where generation after generation come to us for all their soccer and baseball needs and volleyball needs, of course, their running needs. We also really wanted to make sure even before the pandemic, that we were a place where if you are focused on your own personal wellness, if you're focused on moving more, if you're focused on getting that activity level up, we want to welcome our customers and welcome our neighbors into our neighborhood sports floor so that they can start to move more. And so it's really through partnerships, like especially Marilyn, you coming on board as a new uh, you know, strategic partner, you're headquartered here in Greensboro, right down the street from our, our flagship mm -hmm. store, great to be able to work with you. You guys have already done some events with us in the past, but really just kind of the like-mindedness around wellness, I think is going to be a great thing for all of us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's something that we um, definitely strive towards and, you know, physical health, like you were talking about is really important, but um, nutrition is also a really big part of overall wellness. Um, I know from my own personal background, um, through my education that nutrition is really big on your physical health, but it's also really big on your mental health um, and emotional health. So we're, you know, we're big on that. We love the food that we serve. We're proud to serve it to our customers and to the Greensboro community. Yeah. And I think it's important that people remember that when we talk about food, it really is fuel, mm -hmm. right? John, when we're fueling our bodies correctly, that allows us to be more competitive if it's a sport that we're, we're playing. And of course, we work with New Balance on sports like baseball. Um, and then, it, of course, when it comes to running, I mean, if, you, if you're not properly you know, providing your body nutrients, you can't really do uh, the extra miles that you want to do. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's super important to make sure you have balanced diet as well to help you 
actually give you that energy to be able to go out and run, whether it's a mile or to those that are training for longer distances, you know, 10 Ks, half marathons or full marathons. At some point, your body's going to crave actually uh, energy to be able to actually mm -hmm. sustain actually being uh, you know out there for that long. Yeah. And the good news is, is it's super delicious. As I get to attest to you later in the show, it's very delicious over there at Core uh, Life Eatery. Um, all right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and start the show here. If you guys hang tight with me, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a mega news. And then, of course, I want to share my Insta faves for the week. I'll see you guys shortly. Awesome. Thanks, Dal. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, I'm super excited to start the show. Um, I always start the show with our mega news. Um, just a quick shout out to our fantastic mega offer. Make sure you're checking your email. Make sure you're checking with your neighborhood sports stores. And of course, check us online at omegasports.com. We have a fantastic, fantastic offer. This is a holiday weekend for those that get to take Monday off. Um, so we wanted to make sure we had something extra special for you guys. So our team of Active Play experts uh, came up with our fantastic offer. I definitely want to encourage you guys to use that. We only have a couple more days left on it. So make sure that you use it before it's gone on uh, Monday, I believe is the last day for it. So if you are enjoying a long weekend, please make sure you stop by your neighborhood sports store or take it easy and enjoy some online shopping at omegasports.com. We do have some new arrivals in the stores and new colors. Um, so definitely make sure you're checking out uh, what's available. And then, of course, for our Insta faves, I definitely always like to talk about our Charlotte chiropractor, Dr. Sankey from True Motion Therapy. He is back with us. He put together a fantastic video. And this one I think is really interesting. It talks about having good posture. So I'm going to kick off today's Insta fave with our fantastic friend over in Charlotte. Here is Dr. Sankey with True Motion Therapy. Could your Could you quote good posture be hurting you? We are told all the time, posture, posture, posture. We think if we slouch or round forward that something bad is gonna happen. Now don't get me wrong, I think being aware, being cognizant of your posture is really important. But what I don't wanna see is I don't wanna see you overcorrecting, creating all this muscular tension in your back, trying to avoid having your shoulders being rounded forward. Because we can see just as many issues by creating that muscular tension, trying to bring those shoulder blades back together as we can if you're rounding forward all day. If you're creating that tension in your back, that can lead to headaches, that can lead to neck pain. So try to find somewhere right in the middle, not too much tension in the front, not too much tension in the back. Take a deep breath, exhale, let those shoulders drop down away from your ears. Don't pinch them back, don't pinch them forward, just somewhere right in the middle. That being said, posture refers to a single static position. Okay. Any position that you're in for too long is going to be troublesome. Okay. So the big takeaway from this is just to get frequent movement throughout your day. Don't spend too much time in one position. Now there may be times when it makes sense to slouch and round forward. That's fine. There are times when it makes sense to create that muscular tension in your back. That's great. But just don't spend too much time in those positions. Get that frequent movement throughout the day. Motion is lotion. Okay. Movement is medicine. Get that movement in throughout your day. Try to not spend too much time at the desk in front of the TV on the couch. All right, I hope that was helpful. Comment below with your thoughts. All right, guys, I'm just going to reiterate what Dr. Sankey said. Motion is lotion. Movement is medicine. If you would like to know, if you would like to know more about what Dr. Sankey does at his practice at True Motion Therapy, you can always go to TrueMotionTherapy.com. And of course, as an Insta fave, I hope you guys are following him. All you have to do is uh, follow him at True Motion Therapy. We love having him. He always surprises us with great content, meaning he takes topics that people maybe think they already know the answer to, and then he breaks it down for you. Uh, so we really appreciate his expertise every week on our on our show. So we want to just send a huge thank you to Dr. Sankey and all of his crew over at True Motion Therapy in Charlotte. All right, guys. So as you know, in the beginning, we met Marilyn Grimanopoulos. She is a co-owner and leader over at the Core Life Eatery in Greensboro, which I got a chance to spend some time at with our good friend, another wellness expert, Stephanie McMillan, who is the owner of Rise and Flow Yoga. We actually got a chance to have lunch, catch up, hear what's going on with Stephanie. She's got a lot of events coming up in the community. And then she is, of course, expanding her business because of 
high demand of all the great work that she's doing virtually. She's expanding her portfolio of, of services with new instructors coming on board and uh, just more virtual classes that are being made available. But I wanted to go ahead and as our Instafave share, today this morning I already shared the full video of our time at Core Life Eatery. So you can certainly go to Instagram and watch the full video, but I want to give you a, a, just a little taste of how much fun we had over at Core Life in Greensboro. All right, guys, we are here at Core Life Eatery in Greensboro. Our friends over there made us some delicious bowls. So Stephanie, what did you get today? I got the Aji Toki Tuna Grain Bowl. And it has all kinds of amazing Asian cuisine. And we have the Aji Tuna. The black sesame, edamame. Sesame seeds, kale, and quinoa. So super healthy. I went for a lot more flavor packed Thai uh, noodle bowl. This is a double chicken. I'm gonna just hold that up for the camera there. So I can't wait to dive into this. And then, not that I would not be satisfied with this, but <laughs> someone was making one of their tacos, which I didn't know that they actually had here at Core Life. So I went ahead and got me a Southwestern taco. So a little Southwest or Southeast Asia with Southwestern chicken. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. Lunch was delicious, right? Do you have anything in my teeth? Yeah. I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, like I said, we had a delicious, great time over with our friends at Core Life Eatery in Greensboro. They welcomed us. They walked us through what the options were. They helped us understand the nutrition that was in each one of the bowls. Um, we had a super great time. If you are interested in learning about what um, is happening with Stephanie, again, just go to our Instagram page or go to our Facebook page. We launched the whole video on there. This video had a little bit of an audio issue, so we apologize for that. But definitely go to our Facebook page and go to our Instagram page so that you can see the full video and you can catch up with Stephanie. I do want to let you know if you are a fan of Stephanie, she's been on our show uh, several times, you can go to riseandflowllc.com to learn more about what she is doing. And of course, you can follow her on Instagram at riseandflow underscore GSO. Um, be prepared to see more of Stephanie because I enjoy having uh, fun shooting videos with her. So it was pretty fun to be out there with everyone, uh, masked up, being safe, and then still enjoying some great local establishments. Um, so I wanted to go ahead now and talk a little bit more about Core Life Eatery. While we were there in Greensboro, we had a chance to just quickly, it was such a busy day for them. Um, I'm super happy to see that locals are you know, going out and being safe. Everyone was masked. There, there was safety everywhere that you turned at Core Life Eatery in Greensboro. Um, but it was a busy day, but we were able to pull one of the co-owners, uh, George Graminopoulos, uh, for a quick video. And I just wanted to kind of start our segment with Core Life Eatery talking about what the mission for uh, this particular brand is. 
So I'm here with George, one of the owners here of Core Life Eatery in Greensboro. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for hosting us. Yeah, Stephanie you're welcome. and I had a delicious lunch. Your staff was friendly and wonderful. They explained the bowls to us. They were fantastic. Thank you. I mean, it's been our pleasure to have you guys here. Yeah, yeah. So why don't you, George, tell everyone out there what's the mission of Core Life Eatery? So the mission of Core Life Eatery is that we want to be able to provide communities with scratch-made, healthy, nutritious foods. Uh, and that was the mission that started uh, five years ago with the brand. And what they really saw was in a lot of markets, especially even one like Greensboro, is there is a lack of fast casual places or places where you can get clean eating at a fast pace. And that was where it all started from and we've continued to grow from there. But it moved pretty fast. You guys have a really yeah. efficient team. Yeah, and that's, and that's something that we've really been working hard on, especially at this location. And something the brand has really focused on is that to, to get something that is healthy and good for you, you don't have to go to a casual dining place or you don't have to sit and wait for long hours. You can get it still at a, a fast pace, as fast as something that is actually being made in front of you can yeah. be made. It's getting busy here, so I know we gotta, we gotta let <laughs> you go, so, um, so you can get back to taking care of your customers, but thanks again for having us today. Thank you, thank you, and it was a pleasure having you guys here today. Thank Absolutely. you so much. All right. All right, well, we want to thank George and, of course, all the team there uh, for hosting us that day. And, of course, we have our fantastic guest here today, Marilyn Griminopoulos, who actually coordinated all of that for us. So we appreciate yeah. you <laughs> making it happen for us. I know George wasn't really prepared to jump on camera, but we were able to grab him. So he was nice enough to talk about the mission. Uh, Marilyn, again, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, absolutely. And then... The, what I heard George say, and I want to talk a little bit more about, is that you guys really came into the Greensboro market. And I know we're going to talk about how you definitely want to connect with the local markets and you know be that neighborhood source. But I heard scratch-made, nutritious food. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so the, the biggest thing that really kind of sets core life apart is that everything is made from scratch and everything is made in-house. So every, you know, when customers are walking through that line, as you experienced, you saw all of those fresh veggies in front of you. You know, we get produce orders six days a week. So we have completely fresh produce all the time, but all those vegetables were slicing, dicing, cutting, making them into the form that they are. Um, same with all of our greens on our green wall, our dressings, our sauces are all made from scratch, made in the back by our kitchen manager and our prep people. Uh, we have bone broths that are slow simmering overnight for 12 hours. Wow. All of our sides we're also making from scratch and putting in the oven. Um, so it's a, it's a huge operation here. Um, it takes a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. Um, we, you know, we have our crew in this morning at 7 a.m. to prepare for for opening. So, um, yeah, that's that's the real, the biggest thing that really sets us apart is that scratch made concept. And what's really interesting is that you guys are you are technically a fast casual uh, dining establishment, which of course mm -hmm. we learned, you know, as as you know, different restaurant concepts have come up, this fast casual has been very popular. But yeah. I don't know if I could really say that I know of a scratch, you know, from scratch made uh, fast casual establishment that of course is focusing on, you know, healthy nutrition. Yeah, that, that's something that also differentiates us is that um, like George was saying, you know, the idea of core life is that you, you can get that clean, healthy, great tasting food um, at a fast rate, the way that we're doing it here. Um, you can still have the experience of a casual dining type experience where you can still spend time here, come with friends, come with family, um, and really just enjoy your time. Or you can take it to go. You can get it quickly and um, get back to the office or wherever you need to go. Yeah, when, I, when, I, when we showed up with Stephanie, we actually showed up at 12, at, at noon, <laughs> probably the not the best time to shoot a video when you're so busy, the, the heat of lunch um, yeah. really did move fast. I actually gave kudos to George about how fast you guys move. So even though everything is made from scratch and everything is freshly prepared, you guys really do move people out. And I saw folks, you know, enjoying the the atmosphere there. You guys have a beautiful patio that mm -hmm. over, uh, I think it's uh, Battleground Avenue. Like you guys really have a very comfortable 
uh, establishment that people can enjoy. So business professionals can go have lunch and you know dine. And then I saw a lot of folks kind of doing the grab and go, um, yeah. which I thought was great. Yeah, so we do have our online order system where you can um, order through our app or order at corelifebeatery.com. So if people just want to order ahead, they don't want to wait in line, then they can um, get it to go quickly. But like you said, um, our we've really trained up our staff to ensure that we get people through um, in a timely manner, in an efficient way, but also making sure that we um, are making them feel welcomed and seen and heard. Um, we still want to build that community aspect uh, within our eatery. So we don't want to just shuffle people through. We really want to build connection with our guests that come through. Yeah. And I think you guys do that a really great job with that. I know um, your role there is head of people and culture. So mm -hmm. I got a few heads up or kudos um, for hiring and bringing that just talented folks that are kind and courteous and then knowledgeable about what they do. I really got a sense and they were all masked up. So safety is obviously a huge, huge component and they're working back there you know, really, really fast masked up and still, even though you can't see their smiles, you, you get a sense that they love what they're doing. Oh yeah. You know, we, we've really through the, the two years that we've been here, um, you know, George and I have really learned what type of, um, employee or staff member really works well with the with what we're trying to accomplish here. So, I mean, the culture that we've created within our eatery is definitely a family type culture, a community culture, and that's what we want to portray um, as well to our guests and our customers that come through. So, we realize, you know, we want to hire people based on their personality rather than skill set or previous experience. Um, a lot of times you can teach those things and with a great training program, you can train um, your staff to you know, learn bowls, to learn about allergies, to learn about safety and sanitation and all those things. But um, a big thing is you can't always train kindness. <laughs> um, you can't always train being genuine. So we've really looked at finding um, those types of people so that, again, we can just build connection and community with our guests and with Greensboro. Yeah, I, at Omega Sports, you, you guys are very much like-minded in the fact that we go for folks that understand and value good neighborly service. Um, mm -hmm. That's why neighborship is kind of a theme for us. It's really kind of building that greater neighborship in our communities. And it really starts with your employees, that neighborly mm -hmm. service of, you know, let me help you. Let me explain. I want to you know, show you great hospitality because I value you coming into our establishment. Yeah, definitely. That is yeah. exactly um, what we're kind of aiming for. Yep. And then you talked about people who, you know, come in with a certain point of view. Now, I know your background and your education, I know a former athlete, um, mm -hmm. you know, collegiate soccer, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, you've got a you got, you got an education really in nutrition that really is fueled kind of all your interests that is now manifested into this fantastic eatery. Yeah, so my background is in um, kinesiology and psychology. So um, really looking at kind of overall health and wellness, um, both on a physical and a mental standpoint. Um, and like you said, I am a former collegiate athlete. Um, I've been playing sports my entire life. Um, so, you know, physical health, mental health, um, all of that and nutrition has been a big part of my life, um, especially nutrition, learning what fuels my body so that I can perform at, um, in the best way, um, for my sport. And then kind of coming out of, um, being an athlete, um, you have to learn new, new ways of doing things. Um, so I'm kind of in this stage of life of really learning of, you know, what makes my body feel good? Um, what kind of exercises make me feel good? Um, and what food also still fuels me and, you know, nurtures me. So. Yeah, I know when we talked previously, I love that you make that point of, you know, a lot of us have spent years kind of training for, you know, that win. Um, or we're maybe training for a race and we, we are disciplined in what we choose to do with our bodies during those times where we're most competitive. 
but mm-hmm. let's say you're not doing it anymore. You're not running. Uh, you're not. You're not chasing that that medal. You're not chasing that trophy. Now you've got to now value yourself enough to give yourself the same amount of discipline and fuel. Um, that can also be delightful. I heard you use the word nurture. I mean, mm-hmm. food is very nurturing. Food is yeah. very comfort for a lot of folks, especially in some of these you know very stressful times. Um, so again, kudos to you guys for creating a safe environment. I mean, I can't stress the fact that. We walked in there and even though you had a great number of people, I saw all of the markers that distanced everyone out. Everyone mm-hmm. walk in, it said you had to have a mask on. And then of course, it's always um, nice to see that reflected with the employees wearing masks as well. And if they're hot behind, you know, I saw people grilling chicken and flipping steak and doing all kinds of things. And if they're hot and they're still masked up, then obviously there's a, there's a core importance that needs to be uh, demonstrated there. Yeah, especially during this time, you know, we want to make sure that everyone is healthy. Um, You know, I'm very proud of our staff for the way that they have gone about this. And um, they're being very responsible outside of work in the way that they are, um, you know, maybe hanging out with people and things like that. They're just being very careful and being very responsible. Um, You know, we take temperature checks every morning, wellness checks as well to make sure that our staff are okay. Um, and like you said, you know, we have those markers, those six feet markers, masks, we installed plexiglass to help protect our staff and also to protect our customers. Um, and, you know, lastly, we also offer um, curbside delivery. If people aren't comfortable with coming in to the eatery, um, they can choose curbside option where we can just bring it right to their car. So we've really established um, great safety measures here. Yeah, and I think it's paying off. I mean, you know, when we teased out that we were working with you guys or that we were spending some time uh, with you guys this week, a lot of folks were like, that's my favorite place. I love going there. And of course, Core Life Eatery is throughout several areas throughout mm-hmm. North Carolina. I know your family and your your company specifically is, you know, Greensboro and you have some other locations and some new ones coming up very, very mm-hmm. soon. Um, but I think you guys are a great representation of what we really want in our neighborhood. We want good food. Um, with you know very responsible owners that understand how to do that neighborly service and make it safe for folks to continue to con- enjoy life. Because again, food is fuel, but food is also comfort. People need to have some comfort these days. Um, and to be able to just do the curbside pickup and know that you get, and by the way, I know for me, I'm a foodie. When you tell me healthy, nutritious bowl, I get like a little bit of anxiety because I think I'm not gonna get enough. It was plenty of food in those bowls. Yeah definitely measured out and packed it and i think what i remember george telling me was that or maybe someone on the on your line that told me that with the right nutrition it actually fuels your you know body so well that you actually can feel fuller like you don't have to overeat because you're you're getting all the all the essentials that you need yeah you know each bowl is really packed with they're very nutrient dense so mm-hmm. there's a lot of nutrients that is in um, all of our food in each of our bowls so you don't feel hungry after you're eating it i mean i believe our portion sizes are um, substantial they are they are good portion sizes as well um, but because of the nutrients that are in there you know, you actually feel good. You, you're you not bloated. You're not overly full after you eat. And it actually holds you. It sustains you until the next time that you need to eat or have a snack or whatever it is. So um, I think a lot of times when we don't focus on um, eating foods that are nutrient dense, that's when we keep craving food and we keep um, not feeling full and needing to continue to eat and eat. Um, but when we actually focus on uh, proper nutrients, that's when uh, we can really just have more of a well-balanced diet. Yeah. And I will say, even though I'm a foodie, I definitely, I saw, I was like, I got a bowl. And then I said, wait a minute, you guys have tacos too? So I, I took advantage of the tacos. So folks that want to see me with my Thai noodle bowl and my Southwestern pulled chicken taco, just go to our Instagram page and you'll see the full video with me and Stephanie kind of enjoying those bowls. Uh, Marilyn, I want to thank you for joining us today. It's been great. I look forward to doing more fun things with you guys. I know we're going to be sharing recipes and doing all kinds of fun things uh, with you guys in the coming weeks and months. Um, It's been great to work with you guys. And again, I want to let people know, Obviously, if you are in our Greensboro market, we definitely encourage you to go to Core Life Eatery. Um, 
there, right there. I think it's uh, West Over Avenue. Is that right? Yeah, West Over Terrace. Terrace, yeah. Over it. Yep. And then, of course, I encourage everyone to follow you guys at Core Life Eatery Greensboro. You guys have like luscious, delicious photography. I love the photography. It makes you want to eat healthy. Totally. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dell. I appreciate um, your partnership. And I'm really excited for the future and what's to come um, yeah. with both of us. Absolutely. All right. Well, Marilyn, we will have you back on the show, show very soon. We'll be back maybe cooking a few things or trying some more of those delicious ju juices that you guys uh, freshly make. Um, I look forward to it. You have a great Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend. Absolutely. All right. And I want to give a quick shout out. I see that there is Scott Jablanca says, awesome. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Um, it says, this place sounds freaking delicious. Scott with his freaking, I love it. Um, thanks for joining us. Well, again, guys, I have to also just quickly say, if you haven't been to Core Life Eatery, not only are the bowls delicious, you will not find more delicious beverages. They have an array of beverages. I know in the video, I think we did a span of all the beverages. Definitely make sure that you're going there. Um, you know, nutritious food and, um, and healthy food should not scare anybody. I'm probably the first one that'll say, mm, that kind of scares me. But when you go there and you see what they have to offer, it's it's inviting, it's delicious, and you get definitely um, your money's worth. Uh, so anyways, good job to our friends over at Core Life Eatery. All right, so I know you guys heard, we, we talked about it earlier, and then Marilyn brought it up again. When you are eating well, you're fueling your body properly, that's important because of course, nowadays with everything going on in the world, we definitely are seeing people moving more. And that is something that is gonna be a huge theme for us it always has been a theme for us, but we're gonna double down, if not triple down on moving more in the next coming months. As we get into the holidays, where generally people start to slow down and get a little bit more comfortable, we're gonna be like tripling up on our move more activities. And we are gonna be partnering with our friends over at New Balance in order to do that. So I've got some exciting things that I wanna talk about with John Greer coming up from New Balance, but let's kick it off with one of New Balance's most popular shoe models. I wanna kick it off with that and then we'll bring John on to talk about New Balance overall. Hi, I'm Jenny Simpson and I train in the Fresh Foam 860 version 11. I probably run more than 50% of my mileage in the 860 um, for years. I just think it's a really um, reliable workhorse shoe. Um, it's soft underfoot. It's also got me really locked in and gives me that little bit of extra control. All right, well, so I wanna welcome back Johnny G. Thank you, Dale. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for patiently waiting with us. Was that not a great segment on uh, get just several reasons on why we need to fuel our bodies so that we can move more, John? Dude, I'm so happy I actually uh, saw that segment because I'm, I'm, I'm already hungry for lunch. I don't know if I can finish this segment, man. I want to go actually eat at Core Life. <laughs> there you go. We should have we should have had uh, Marilyn on the third screen just kind of feeding you. Here you go. Feeding <laughs> you. That was, that, was, uh, that was great to hear, man. Yeah. Well, and of course, they've got um, some some upcoming uh, locations that I think you will benefit from. So uh, stay tuned for that. Well, John, we are happy to have you on here. As we have been teasing out, moving more um, is a huge focus for Omega Sports. And I know I know you've seen it as many brands have seen during the pandemic, people got out, they were running more. I mean, we probably have seen more runners come into our stores, new runners that we haven't seen before. We've seen new walkers coming into our stores that we have not seen before. So it's been a really, I think a, a resurgence on wellness when the world is talking about all these bad things that are happening. It's great to know that we can move more and New Balance obviously has been one of those shoes that we've pulled off that wall because customers keep asking about it and are actively experts continue to keep, you know, recommending it. So before we jump into the actual shoe, I know that one was with um, Olympic runner, Jenny Simpson, talking about the 860 V11. I wanna learn a little bit more or have our audience learn a little bit more about your background because you've been in this game for quite some time. Uh, it's uh, actually, you have been around probably longer than I realize at times, actually. I was uh, fortunate enough to get into the sporting goods business. I was a college athlete myself, played uh, some basketball actually, and. Uh, 
was uh, pretty active and have been really actually uh, fortunate enough to get in early right out of college and uh, be a part of actually this active play community actually. So it's been a lot of fun. I've been in the business for almost 28 years uh, wow. and I've been with New Balance actually for uh, a little over 20 years in fact. Yeah. And, you know, John, I know we've had you on other shows in the past. You really, I mean, other than it being your job, you are a super fan of New Balance and kind of what the technology that the brand brings to the table with the fresh foam, all the things that that I know you love when you get to talk to our active player expert, kind of what I call shoe geek out on. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's funny early on in uh, my uh, called playing days, actually, I don't know why I was so... Um, geeked out on shoes actually but i used to actually recognize my my uh competition by the shoes that they wore so i would have always somehow had this innate interest in shoes and was always interested in what to what they were doing actually or how they were performing so it's been kind of it's been a great career i've really enjoyed it it's been really a, a fun to be a part of the new balance growth as long as i've been with the company i've seen some things over the years that have been um really fun to be a part of and uh and more recently actually really watching the company flourish and grow actually um, and particularly even through this pandemic as folks have definitely gotten outdoors a lot more and have actually you know we, we've shown our resilience and actually when we get pushed to, to a place where we're not quite sure what to do we actually do have the ability to to, to solve what that it looks like and be um, and a lot of us are outdoors now yeah, I know. I think it's important to talk about a mission of a company is just as important as um, the, or I'm sorry, the heart of a company is just as important as the mission of a company. And you guys have definitely yeah. shown your heart. Yeah, it's been awesome. I, you know, we were, um, as a company, we actually, early on, we were, firstly, we're family owned, which is another kind of really cool part about our partnership with Omega is that being uh, family owned. Um, we share a lot of same values, um, and so one of the values certainly that New Balance is very high on is our community involvement and making sure that we, even as employees, stay connected to our local communities. Um, as a company, even we, during the pandemic, had uh, with our factories, we manufacture still shoes in the U.S., and we actually switched our shoe manufacturing process um, from making shoes to actually making masks for um, frontline health workers, um, the PPE that they were actually um, short on early on when things were actually kind of you know starting to kind of take shape so that was kind of exciting to see us actually you know pivot and turn to actually something that really actually supported the local community yeah I, I have to just really kind of put a stamp on that i mean early on when everything was going down new balance was one of i believe if, if someone can try to correct me but i believe one of the first brands that said you know what we're going to change what we normally do we have the talent, we have the materials, we have the, the know-how to be able to help somebody with a problem. And you guys put that effort and energy into helping frontline workers. Um, so kudos to New Balance. And I think I, I think I love the fact that it's a family-owned business here in the U.S. that has U.S. manufacturing. If no one else can solve that problem, it, it's got to be a U.S. manufacturing, you know, a U.S. brand. And I, I just want to give you guys kudos for that because not only did you – you know, help folks that were at most in need, but they were also most in demand. And you guys didn't just necessarily do it to make money on, hey, all of a sudden we've got a surge of masks, so let's sell a bunch of masks. You really started with purpose. Yeah, it's super proud actually to be a part of the company that actually shows how resilient we can be, um, you know, not only as a company, but as actually people um, to be able to take something that actually was what looks like kind of, you know, a bad situation or a tough situation and turn it into actually a positive situation. Um, and just, you know, the, the, the ability to be resilient really more than anything else has been, it's been really fun to actually be a part of that. Well, I want to give a quick shout out um, to Kristen, who's uh, watching today. And she's got a comment there that says, we love family owned companies. Thank you John, for all you do to support us. So obviously Kristen, a co-owner of Omega Sports is watching today, John. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. I appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's it's truly a treat to be involved, actually. I'm, I'm a pretty relational guy myself. And, and when you actually are involved with, you know, family, uh, there's something relational about that. And actually, there's a connection that just you feel uh, really so much better about. So it's been uh, enjoy it a lot.
Yep. And then Scott's back in the comments that says he has no, he had no idea that it was family owned. That changes my view of New Balance a bit. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Scott. Scott knows a, a movement. Um, so definitely you're going to be seeing a little bit more of Scott, I think in the coming, the coming weeks, but he definitely knows a lot about movement. He's got a, he's got a brand called movement uh, or Carolina movement doc that we're going to be working with. And so I'm glad that he's kind of now getting to know our brands even more because um, i think that is important that people know that new balance is a family-owned business here in the u.s it's out, it's out of boston correct correct actually yeah based in boston the company frankly has been around for over a hundred years and it's been family owned the entire time it's a private company um and uh it, there's just something about a family atmosphere and culture that you can um, create i think you were kind of talking about it earlier even with uh, maryland it's just there's something different about actually um, the ability to actually cultivate, um, uh, you know, that culture within that kind of company. Yeah. Now, early, just a second ago, you were talking about resilience and, you know, when things are tough, people are, you know, as a company, you guys were able to like figure out what needs to be done. I think that goes true to a lot of folks that even though we were, you know, things were shutting down all around us and we couldn't have the normal life that we wanted to have where maybe that in, that included going out to, with friends and going to the movie theater. You know, what people did do is they started to get out and start to enjoy the free things in life, <laughs> like a, a free open road where we we can run or the backyard in the in your in your own, you know, neighborhood where you can play with your kids safely. So let's talk about how people have been active, John. I mean, I know that Timing was perfect for us as new shoes and new balance was available to us. We were able to really gear up a lot of these sometimes new first time runners with shoes like the 860. Yeah, hundred percent. We actually have noticed in talking with uh, the stores actually and how many new customers are coming in. Um, you know, people actually crave, I think, um, knowledge and insight um, and information. And uh, sometimes the best place to do that is to go into your local store and talk to your staff people um, and ask them questions and actually, um, you know, to get fit, rank, really, actually, the, the best part of actually coming in actually to a local store is to, to get fit and actually to go through the process to actually get the right shoe on your foot. Um, and with more people getting outdoors, I think, you know, people share their experiences that they have actually um, and so when people are talking about their experience when they go into Omega, they're telling their friends, hey, go in. You need to go to these guys and get fit for the proper shoe. And so we, we, uh, we've we seen that in our in our business actually really, uh, um, I, I'd say for lack of a better word, it's, it's been growing. You know, as challenging as the times that we are facing at the moment, um, you know, I think the, the folks are getting healthier, it seems like, actually. <laughs> I've seen a lot more people in my neighborhood out, whether it's walking dogs or themselves actually, you know, running around the neighborhood. Yeah, as a lot of our wellness experts uh, have said, you know, the more active you are and the more healthy you are, that's the best defense when it comes to uh, something like COVID. Um, so, so we definitely, let's talk about the shoes. I mean, you talked about getting yeah. fit, of course. And Omega, I want to give a shout out to all of our active play experts. Kristen led the effort of making sure that our stores are of the utmost safe. We've always had safety in mind. Of course, when you're a wellness driven company, you always want to have safety in mind. But we definitely upped the game in our stores to make sure that customers felt safer. Um, we, you know, at times we limited how many customers, believe it or not, the first time you know, I think ever that we've ever limited customers coming into stores because we wanted to make sure that people were safe. That also enhanced the experience because now we had a more one on one experience with a lot of our customers. Um, but but let's talk about the shoes, John. So the eight yeah. six eleven. I'm telling you right now, our um, our actively experts have definitely definitely recommended this shoe to a lot of the runners. What's so special about the Fresh Foam eight sixty v eleven? Yeah, what's super super exciting about eight sixty v eleven is this is actually the first time that we have actually put Fresh Foam in our stability model. So for those folks that actually know and crave and have a need actually for a little bit of support or stability actually um, if they're a pronator um, someone actually who you know rolls their foot in and that's something you can have a conversation with when you go into uh, the fit, your fit expert at omega to actually understand what type of or what your foot's doing but the 860 is um it's a it's the first time that we've put fresh foam and fresh foam for us has been a fantastic uh, technology over the last 10 years we've developed it and um it just provides a really nice soft step-in feel 
Um, but also with the 860, we also, it's, a, it's a supportive shoe. So we actually have on this medial side, call it actually on the inside of the shoe, there's a little bit of a higher density of foam. So if you're someone who rolls in and when you're running or walking, in fact, then there's actually a feature in that shoe that helps you actually keep your foot supported um, and actually keeps you efficient. Um, as well as one of the really exciting features in addition to fresh foam is this new ultra heel construction. It's kind of, I don't know, be hard to see, I know today, but um, the way this actually is constructed or wraps around your heel, um, it's kind of got this um, pretty cool looking, we, we call it a fin um, or a built-in shoehorn, in fact, actually. Um, this actually, the way this is constructed as it actually fits and molds right around actually your heel um, provides that comfort that everyone craves. I mean, at the end of the day, when you walk out, you to a certain degree, don't even want to feel like you have a shoe on your foot. And this kind of really helps just cradle actually how that uh, fits right around actually the foot. Yeah, I've heard a lot of folks um, in Omega Sports, our actively experts, talk about that new enhanced heel. Yeah, ultra heel is what we call it. Um, and it's um, ultra comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> Making up words today. That's fine. Um, I do it all the time. Just ask Kristen. That's um, right. I wanted to give another uh, comment uh, or focus on another comment that she has. She loves her 1080s. And John, she's not alone. The 1080s mm. have been, um, I know I, I like to always talk about the, the 860V 11s because I just saw this huge surge for them. But the, the, the one that continues to be successful with us is the eight or the 1080s. So what's this? Yeah, 100%, man. You can love them. So it much. is 1080. The 1080, actually, for those that actually want the the plushest and smoothest shoe that they actually have had on their foot, possibly ever, or in a long time, we'll say. Um, what's great about uh, Fresh Foam in 2020 for New Balance has been we've actually even elevated our game. Fresh Foam has been in the market for almost 10 years now. And this year, we actually launched kind of a new version of Fresh Foam. So the material is Fresh Foam X, we call it. Uh, internally, but the, the the material is just, it's got a really nice soft step and feel, but it also has really uh, good um, rebound to it. So it's not just actually, you don't want a shoe that's too soft because then you just step into it and it's like, you know, putting your foot on a pillow and it's just like, uh, then you, you don't get any sort of rebound to it. So there's no, if there's no responsiveness, then your foot just, you know, kind of really just de de kind of deads out essentially. Um, but in this new 1080 with this new Fresh Foam X um, construction to it, um, and then also it has the Ultra Heel construction to it. I do a great job there. But the uh, the Ultra Heel in the 1080 is kind of similar to the 860. Um, this was the first model that we put the Ultra Heel in. And again, this is a, a fit feature that really kind of helps actually just lock in the heel and keep your foot secure actually in the shoe. Um, so you're not worried about your, you know, shoe uh, foot coming out of the shoe, and just providing a really nice comfort. Um, what's great too is just the fact that how we constructed the outsole of this 1080. It's actually got enough flex grooving and things. So when customers are looking for kind of have that 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 step in feel, and actually as you move from your heel to your toe and that toe off phase or gait cycle motion, like just the ability to kind of move from heel to toe in a very smooth fashion. Um, it just adds comfort to the shoe and, and people are just loving how this actually fits. So the upper on this is another really great feature before I forget to, as I ramble here about the, the 1080, this the hypo knit is what we call the material. It's got a little bit of some stretch to it, which is fantastic, especially for those that have bunions and actually where their foot actually doesn't, you know, totally shape wise actually fit exactly. Uh, everyone's foot shapes a little different, but so with actually how this upper actually is constructed, the, 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 the flexibility of that actually really helps accommodate almost a custom fit for every customer. I love it. And then I just want to, I don't know if you saw it on the screen, our friend Bill Fife actually put a comment up that said 1080, favorite shoe for a long time. So just a quick hello to Bill. Our friend, Thank you, Bill. Yeah, our friend from Wilmington. Uh, he should know what's a popular shoe at Omega Sports, that's for sure. Bill's a shoe guy, just like I am. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bill. Got you, man. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things I wanted to make a comment on on the 1080s, when you are shopping at Omega Sports, I heard John talk about, you know, making sure that things fit well. I would absolutely encourage everyone, as we do all the time, try on the shoe. 
you know, ask the active play expert to talk about the features. You can even, most of our, or most of our neighborhood sports stores have treadmills. You can even take it for a quick little run on a treadmill to really get that feel um, for it. One of the exciting things about the 1080 is, John, we've got some new colors that are going to be coming in, right? We've got some new things that are coming out for New Balance, not so much right now new models, but now new color drops that we've been excited about. 100%. Just last week, in fact, actually, there's new men's and women's colors that just actually landed at all stores. Um, so super excited, actually, about um, even adding a, an additional women's color coming up. But um, the shoe has had so much success this year that even the new colors are getting gobbled up pretty quickly. So um, yeah. don't don't hesitate. Don't wait. Don't sit too long on that couch. Get out there and actually go scoop up some new colors. Yep. And so if you're a shoe geek, shoe geek, you care about the technology around a shoe. But, John, hold up that 1080 for me one more time. Yeah. I For the folks that buy with their eyes, you know, just the colorways that you guys have come up with, the design. I mean, every element that you guys have done with the shoe has, has made this a very, very attractive shoe. It looks so good both on our shoe wall and then as we market it, I love showing this shoe because it really does show well. So if you are a, a person who needs the technology along with the look, this is the this is a shoe that definitely does not disappoint. Really, all of your New Balance shoes really, from an aesthetic standpoint, I think has been very pleasing to a lot of our customers. Yeah, no doubt. The, 10, the new 1080 has been my favorite shoe in quite a few years, actually. I've um, been very, very, very happy with it. I've got two colors myself. <laughs> Well, so speaking of Bill and Kristen and the folks at Omega Sports, I really kind of want to spend some um, just a moment on the relationship, John, you have with our, our active play experts, because it's only with these relationships that really, after 43 years, or we're now celebrating our 43rd year, we're going into our 43rd year of business, we couldn't do it without deep, deep relationships with major, major brands like New Balance. So talk about that relationship that you have with our active play experts and how customers out there watching or will watch or that will rewatch this later. How will they understand that there is a huge difference in just kind of buying shoes and selling shoes versus like really having deep relationships? Yeah, I think that's the best part of my job, frankly, is, is actually getting around and getting to actually um, interact with the, the folks on the, your, your um, expert fit uh, folks actually on the on the fit stool is is just developing relationships with people and so essentially like my job coming in and working with um, the folks on the floor is just getting to know them by name asking them about you know what their well, workout routines are looking like or what kind of events that they're actually training for or just what they're doing active wise and asking about family and I think that's kind of what's great about our relationship is, is that you guys care about your community. So when customers come in, they get treated like they are family. You're asking them about, you know, their families and they're asking about what they're doing active, actively. Um, and it just, to me, that creates actually what is just a great connection. And you feel like you're, you're not just there to actually, you know, yes, you're there to buy a shoe, but you're there because there's a genuine interest in actually wanting to actually help you know, you guys grow as a, as a company and grow as an Omega brand, but also, you know, helping customers grow in their own pursuits of whatever, you know, kind of like Marilyn was talking about, that life changes, so your pursuits change and just people pursuing whatever it is that their personal fitness um, that they're after. Um, that's, that's why we do this, because we want to help people. Absolutely. Now we've got a few minutes left, John. I want to give a teaser for some things that are coming up with Omega. So for folks that um, are watching and watch and rewatch, we've got a huge November plan. Very excited. Omega Sports and New Balance is going to be kicking off a new program. We're going to help people move more. Um, we were we're going to later today launch a video that's a teaser video. So you have gr you have a great team over at New Balance. And I know Kate is one that we work with, the tech rep, um, who is now putting together some great movement videos for us. Um, we wanted to go ahead and tease it out today, but we're going to actually hold off and put it in Instagram and Facebook uh, as soon as this show is done. So if you are looking for that extra workout today, just know that we're going to let Kate from New Balance take you through uh, a few exercises as a teaser for what's sure. coming in November. Move more November actually is uh, going to be very exciting. Actually, there's uh, some fun stuff to come. We've got some new product actually hitting the stores as well. 
Uh, there'll be another new shoe, actually, I believe the Beacon will arrive actually in store next month, um, as well as some new colors of 880. So I don't want to forget it a little quick. I shout out on the new 880. Um, that is another model that we actually are um, very excited about this year. Um, the 880 also has fresh foam now. That's a new feature in that shoe. And there's also some fantastic new colors that just landed in store as well last week, along with that 1080. So um, be looking for new colors even in the 880 um, as those actually hit store as well. Yep. So for folks, just to, you know, kind of, I want to just reiterate, we're going to be moving more in November as folks are kind of maybe getting ready for the holidays. This isn't the time to stop moving. So we're going to keep moving more with our friends from New Balance. Um, we've got a, a whole program called Move More Vember um, that we're launching yeah. with New Balance. Every weekend, we're going to be moving with New Balance. So be on the lookout for that. And we've got a couple of other extra partners that we're going to be putting into the mix uh, so that if you are reading your emails, if you're on social with us, if you're in our stores, we want to make sure that you're moving more in November. This is not the time to slow down. Let's keep active. Let's keep healthy. John, we love partnering with New Balance. We're super happy to have your shoes um, and, you know, some cool apparel and some other things from New Balance and different sporting, some sports departments that we have from New Balance. It's been a great partnership. I can't wait to get into November with you guys. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Thanks for having us today. Like, there's just so many exciting things going on between uh, Omega and New Balance. There's uh, a lot to look forward to. So very excited, actually, to what, uh, we're, what's coming down. Absolutely. And you'll be back with us next month. Um, and then, of course, later today, we'll have Kate's video. So we can keep people moving more. Thanks for the partnership, man. Excited. I know Kate and I are very excited to actually uh, continue to, to develop some stuff for you guys. Absolutely. All right. Well, John, I'm going to give you back your weekend. I know you and your family, yeah. family time. So enjoy the weekend um, up there in Charlotte or over there in Charlotte. Uh, thank you again, man. Much appreciated. Have a great uh, weekend, everybody. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close the show, John. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I want to thank everyone who was in our chat. Of course, we always uh, have this video available on our YouTube and our Facebook page in our video section, so you can rewatch it. Um, we're also going to be next week launching our new content studio. So all of these shows will now be available in our new content studio. Uh, so be looking at your emails for some exciting news. For that, we also are launching our women's only podcast, so the Omega Sports Women's Only Podcast with Cleo Fawcett, who is our head of apparel. That will be launching next week. So we've got a packed October. And then as you've already heard, we're going to be moving more in November with New Balance. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. Remember to shop, check your emails. It is a fall fan it's a fantastic mega offer happening in our stores right now. You guys have a great weekend. Enjoy.